The ASM is a great uh, multidisciplinary and collegiate environment for all the disciplines that work in uh, uro-oncology. So I think it's a great place to share ideas, learn new concepts and for me, from a radiation oncologist perspective, promote new ideas. I think the ASM is great in that it brings together a real multidisciplinary group of people, uh, including uh, the consumers. I think the uh, input from the CAP so far has been, been great and for me it's really a chance to, to catch up with members of the project team uh, for the online psychological intervention, ETC, that we're developing in conjunction with ANZA. And uh, it's just a great way to, to really touch base with them and get some, get some feedback face to face, um, which, is not, which is often you know, a lot more valuable than uh, you know, having a teleconference. So I've been coming to ANZA ASMs. I think I've been to everyone since 2011. Um, and I really enjoy coming to the ANZAP meetings because it's a very um, welcoming environment and there's a lot of very interesting discussion um, and it's very collaborative as well. I, I really enjoyed listening to Piet this morning talk about the uh, issues around radiology and some of the leading edge research that's happening in that area is fantastic. I think the, the fact that it's so multidisciplinary is very important. Also getting the nurses involved during the same sessions as the physicians. And that is some of the first times that I'm seeing this actually happening. For example, in Europe, we have the same, but there are parallel sessions. So nobody gets involved or nobody mingles with all the different groups. Here, all the sessions are combined. So that makes it very interesting. And we've seen some very interesting input from the nurses that could actually help us a lot. And the other way around. So that's very interesting. The ASM is a time not only to listen to presentations and be involved in more formal meetings, but there's a huge amount of corridor conversation, sort of sideline chat, and that's actually incredibly important um, because you don't get that sort of quiet time with your colleagues often to make all of those things happen. I get a lot of work, I get a lot of networking work done around the meeting. Been an amazing couple of days. Um, some of my favourite things, probably, you know, the nurses' breakfast the other morning was uh, was terrific. Lots of lots of um, opportunities for nurses these days. When I left 14 years ago for Canada, there really wasn't those opportunities. So I was I was really buoyed by the entire conversation, and to think that it's changed enough that nurses have an opportunity to do research these days. So it was one of the highlights for me. The integration of the biomedical and also the illness parts of, of cancer, I think, have been really interesting over the course of a couple of days as well. So it's nice to see those things coming together. Uh, other novel work coming out from uh, from Newcastle as well as um, in Bella, um, at Crescent Princess Alexandra. So looking at novel ways of um, typing prostate cancer in terms of liquid biopsies. I think again that's the way of the future. So being able to real time characterise tumours to be able to tailor. Uh, treatments in a non-invasive fashion. I think again that's the way of the future and collaborating together so that we can recruit to these new trials. Great, uh, great to get all, all the different disciplines together and all the, all the teams from around the country and including international speakers together. Uh, it's a great way to help facilitate research, uh, promote the growth of ideas and, and putting them uh, through their paces into, into formal concepts and, and trials. The ANZUP Annual Scientific Meeting is a great opportunity for um, the Consumer Advisory Panel um, to come together um, to catch up you know, with, it, with each other, to get to meet some of the clinicians and researchers that we spend a lot of time in teleconferences with and just improve our um, you know, sort of knowledge and understanding um, of what goes on. I really like the meeting uh, because of the multidisciplinary nature of the meeting. Uh, a lot of the other meetings we attend are just uh, medical oncologists or urologists or single disciplines getting together but we've really got a broad range of people and the membership of ANZEP represented. Well, I'd have to say as a radiation oncologist uh, hearing Piet Ost, the, uh, the international speaker, talk about uh, the role of, of radiotherapy as a potential vaccine was, was certainly exciting and there's a lot of those, those similar ideas being floated in the Australian setting and, and it stimulated a lot of, uh, a lot of discussion uh, at, the, at the breaks and, and with colleagues that's for sure. So I was particularly interested in today's talk with Dean Bajoran looking at um, uh, the genomics and epigenomics of bladder cancer. Uh, 
so many of our cancers are very, um, are very heterogeneous and trying to find the different subclasses and what drugs we should be using to match them with I think is terribly important and I'm glad to see that in a sort of a, a less common cancer like bladder it's really starting to kick off. And I think equally a very exciting uh, development and announcement today was working with uh, Prostate Cancer Australia and the funding for a trial that I'm going to be very involved in in lutetium therapy for metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer. So it means that it's something that we'll be trying to fundraise for will really come to fruition quite quickly and with again collaboration of multiple sites across Australia. I think we'll be able to fruit very well and again I think we'll be world leaders on this very novel and exciting therapy. So very exciting times ahead for particularly uh, metastatic prostate cancer. I think the presentations from our, guests, from our international guests this morning were really exciting uh, and I think overall I, I like the concept, set, concept development sessions where we talk about new concepts and new trials that might become uh, realities in the future. It's really nice to think about what we might be doing uh, and what the opportunities are. I was uh, really looking forward to meeting Piet Ost from Belgium, um, who's one of the keynote speakers here. I think he's got some very interesting concepts in some of the areas that I'm interested in, particularly in combining stereotactic radiotherapy with uh, immunotherapies and also looking at uh, prostate oligometastases. Uh, so he's done some really great work and it's been a good experience meeting him and talking to him. Uh, I really enjoyed the presentation by uh, Dr. Eric Chung yesterday on uh, fertility preservation uh, in, in young men affected by testicular cancer. I think it's a really important issue and I think uh, uh, the rates of, of fertility preservation um, are really low and it's obviously something that we can really do a lot of work on to, to improve. I love this meeting, it's fantastically collegial um, and what's been really wonderful to watch over the last maybe two or three years in particular is how much the organisation has grown both in, in sort of the volume of attendance and the breadth of the work that's going on. Um, it's a really vibrant, dynamic organisation and I think that's a huge tribute to the members.